everyone, it's me. <laughs> I'm just coming in for a check-in. It's been a minute since I've, you know, caught up with everybody. And I've been in and out. I did a lot of tarot readings this week. Um, I have a lot going on today, but I'm going to try to do a tarot reading at some point. Today is my sister's baby shower because she's having a girl in January. So <laughs> we're getting ready for that. Um, she also has a son born on New Year's Day. So, and she's born in January, so are all going to be Capricorns, probably all <laughs> within the first two weeks of each other. So, it's going to be crazy. Um, but, yeah, i got to pick up her cake and do her errands, so I'm not sure if I'll have time. And after her baby shower, I have to go walk Daisy, and my mom's flying in tonight. I cleaned her whole house today for letting me stay here while she was gone. And hopefully she's surprised and <laughs> likes it. Um, I even clean the shower, the toilets. You know, my mom, she cleans houses for a living. And so by the time she get her house is immaculate anyway, but she hates having to, like, go clean. Then she comes home and works on her computer job, and she hates having to clean her own house. So the only thing I didn't do was vacuum. Um... I swept everything because her vacuum's apart, and I tried to put it together, and I'm like, I don't know. She cleans it all out after every client because of COVID, and these are so high-tech now. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to break it. So I, let, I didn't vacuum, but I did my best to clean it up. She's going to walk in here and be like, as long as my brother doesn't make a mess. Um, anyway, getting off tangent. Um, but this is a check-in to see what's going on with me. Um, sorry, I was reading a pop-up thing. People. <laughs> it's baby shower day. Everybody needs something. My sister's on her way. I gotta go to the store for her. Like I said, she's taking Kai to his first ever birthday party. Kai is three, my nephew. And so it's like a three-year-old's birthday. It's so fun. But she's feeling a little sick. And then right after it's her baby shower. So I'm just going to try to do all the shit for her. <laughs> so she just can go. Being pregnant is rough. She's had a rough pregnancy. She's been sick a lot. In the beginning, she was losing weight and not gaining. So poor thing. <laughs> this has been a rough one. And she's like, this is it. Never again. I got my boy. I'm having my girl. I am done. I know. I feel her there because brutal pregnancy. Anyway, happy day. It's a baby shower. We're doing it at home because COVID spiked here again. Um, I don't know if it's Delta or just regular COVID. So we're doing it at her house. Just something little with our friends and close family and keeping it small and safe because she's pregnant. <laughs> um, I start night shifts on November 1st, which means I work from 3 at night. Or 3 in the afternoon to like 2.45. Or that's on overtime. My overtime ends at 2.45. So the latest I will ever work is 3 a.m. <laughs> so it can vary depending on the work. 11 to 12 hour days. But I get Friday through Sunday off. So I work 11 to 12 hours Monday through Thursday. And have work 4 days, get 3 days off. I think that's a good fucking deal. <laughs> so excited about that. I'm doing well. I ran the machine by myself all week. I did need some help. I broke typical. I don't know if you watch Deadliest Catch, but I did so great all fucking week. And Friday, Green or no, it was Thursday I pulled Greenhorn moments. And Friday I came into like a fucking crazy situation. And they just kind of, the person that has been helping me just kind of took over because they're like, this is complicated for people who have fucking been here for years and I can't believe he left this for a new person. <laughs> so it's like, I'm glad they stepped in because I was like trying to take it in. I, <laughs> they call it the bladder. It's like the air brake. Um, I turned it on. It wasn't my fault, but the bladder thing, it was like a bomb and going to blow up. And I had to, like, turn the switch off real fast, and the screw came flying out. That was, like, a dramatic moment. Again, that one wasn't my fault. That was, like, a technical thing. That's broke twice since I worked there. It's an old machine. But the second time it broke was my fault. I left the clamps on, which holds down so you can make splices. 
and I forgot to take the air off and I tried to run the machine and it bing, ripped the whole line and you have to like re through this whole complicated thing and he's like don't worry everybody does this um everybody who's started on this machine has done this more than once people who've worked here for years still do this from time to time because it's not like you have such a so many switches on the thing that sometimes you forget one or sometimes it just breaks on its own so I'm like trying to learn how to weave it through the machine and I'm dyslexic so I was like oh fuck now I've got to make a mind map because this map over here that they have on the machine I'm gonna do it backwards because it's just there's no like directions it's just a sketch I'm like and they're all different colors I'm like what <laughs> I'm trying to make sense of it but so I'm working my trainer comes back the one that trained me so far on Monday they sent him on night shift to do a special project so he'll be back this week I have one more week on days to learn as much as I can so I'm sure he's gonna go through that with me and how to fix the machine you know he got pulled for a different project for a special client so I have this week to learn from him and then I'll be on my, well, I won't be on my own. There's always people that can come and help me and ask. There is a night trainer. Um, they run their own machine, but they're to help people adjust to the night shift. Her name's Maddie. She's really cool. A lot of girls on night shift. The girl I'm next to reminds me of my mom. She's got five kids. She, because I meet them when they come in and my day's ending. And they they know I'm coming to night shift. So they came over and introduced themselves. She loves Halloween. She's got like skeleton hand hair clips i'm like where did you get those she's like oh i've had them for years she got she's older like my mom sweet sweet lady so it's gonna be nice working next to her and the trainer is a female um and there's a, like half the staff so it's really quiet and zen at night um there's like no big wigs in there apparently so everyone's like it's more like during the day, you have to kind of be on your shit. There's eyes everywhere. It's very busy and fast-paced. They definitely get more done on the day shift than the night. Not that that, like, whatever's left for the night shift we do, the printers are working during the day. So there's always work for day shift. And second shift just finishes up. I, well, I think there's printers at night. I don't know. I haven't been there at night. Pretty sure there's printers at night, too. I don't know. I'll find out. <laughs> so training's going well. They said I'm the fastest to ever. Like, I'm trying not to inflate my ego, but at the same time, I had such little confidence. <laughs> like, I've had such hard jobs and such, like, office dramas, and it's been really nice here. Everyone's really friendly. They Everybody gets along. Like, even if they don't really like each other, they find a way to be humorous. And, like, there's no drama is what I'm saying. Everybody's older. It's peaceful. Lady asked if she said, don't get rid of your dog if you need to, to house it somewhere. Like, really sweet. Like, these people care, and they're nice. And I've never been in a working, other than when I worked with my mom, obviously. But, so that's really cool. On the night shift, it's definitely a younger crowd, but I feel like they're tightening it as well. Um more people like me eccentric <laughs> night people <laughs> that's what they call us but I will definitely look forward to not having to work at 5 a.m. because <laughs> that's my least favorite shift the 5 a.m. to 1 30 which they work on Friday so they can get out early and second shift doesn't work on Fridays unless they offer you overtime which I think sometimes they do anyway my the manager guy said I'm running numbers really good like they clock how fast you go on the machine and how much you produce and they said that like he kind of said it laughing but I don't I don't know if he's serious he's like you've been producing as much as people have been here for years but there are other people around so I don't know if he said that and then realized other people were like I've never got so many compliments at work and I, I'm not trying I, I'm not being vain I'm just saying how surprised I am like what <laughs> I'm doing good oh my god like positive encouragement zen work environment what is happening in my life right now so the the world is spinning in my favor I'm loving it like McDonald's says <laughs> which I had twice this week by the way <sighs> 
I told myself that I was going to get back into working out and on my diet when I get a place leading into my next topic. I'm, pr I'm hoping, like I put in my application, paid the fee, talked to the lady twice, let her know everything that <laughs> like I need to know or have her know. It's on the same street as my job. If I never didn't, if I for any reason didn't have a car, I could walk to work. An Uber would be less than $10 on the really cold or shitty days. Um, it's right in my same neighborhood. I'm kind of, well, it's more towards my mom and by my old neighborhood. So, like, I know where all the stores are. Um, I can get to my family really fast. And my work is right there. It's a one bedroom. It's in my budget. Actually, a little bit below my budget. They'll take Daisy. Um... <laughs> I'm not sure how big it is. I think it's rather, I think it's like more of a studio, extra large studio, but I haven't seen it yet, so it could be bigger. All I can tell by the online pictures, a little outdated, but with a little magic touch, I can make anything shine. So, um, I'm looking forward to that, and it's the only thing that I found that's available in November, so I can get days back and get my life on track. And I, I really only got to stay there like a year. If, if I really don't like it, I can just save up all year. And though it'll be a lot easier next summer to find a place because COVID restrictions and all that will be lifted. And I just feel like it'll be a better market next summer. And I can just hang out for the winter close to my job. So I don't got to drive far in the ship storm close to my family have my dog with me like I don't care how big it is like I said I started over all I have is a couch a chair and my clothes pretty much and my all my tarot shit I <laughs> purged my life I'm literally like what do you want for Christmas I'm like pots and pans <laughs> tissues a microwave <laughs> I didn't even get a tv in this so I'm gonna have to buy a tv because I like to leave the tv on for Daisy I'm not sure how you know my ex is home all day every day so she doesn't really um have a break and during covid we were home so she got used to someone being there i think it'll take about a week and then she'll know my routine but i like to leave noise on for her so she doesn't feel alone whether it's radio tv she's my baby and i have two well i bought one i'm gonna buy another one they're like indoor looks like grass and she can pee and poop in it and it collects it and puts up like so she doesn't have to hold it all day it's not making a mess in the house um and she's um pad trained anyway so she doesn't pee or poop in the house so that's good so i'm moving on up i'm just focusing on work and getting this apartment and my, my dad helped me get a car just putting it on the road so i'll have wheels again soon all looking up and i'm so excited and i'm i couldn't do this without my family like my family you guys I don't even fucking know what I would do without you. <laughs> like, you're, they listen. They've, like, this whole breakup has been fucking, like, my mom has listened to me cry, my sisters, and, like, pep talk, pat your knee, like, you got this. They're very encouraging. They're helpful. They've been taking me to and from work. Um, I wouldn't even got this job without Hannah. She, I didn't have the balls to apply to a company like this, and she she applied for in my name <laughs> and like I got the interview I talked to the people but she got my resume in there so I wouldn't even have got this job without my baby sister <laughs> being like come on sis you got it I'm sending it <laughs> and I got it right away and she was right I did I don't listen sometimes <laughs> and my dad you know he had this fucking major surgery and he's doing well he's home recovering and he got me a car and all of this like and my mom is helping me with any fees that like i have savings i have paychecks coming in if i need any help like getting anything for my apartment my mom's like i'm gonna help you like they're i think they're just happy that i'm away <laughs> from the mess i was in and that they just want to help me get settled because I'm kind of a wreck without Daisy. <laughs> they know that Daisy's my child. That's like their niece. So they're helping me and Daisy get back together. Like I said, I couldn't I couldn't get through this without my family. And I couldn't get through <laughs> this job without such nice people. Like every, 
my work even typed something up for, because I don't have any pay stubs, so they typed something up for the landlord. Yes, she works here. This is how much she makes. This is how many hours she worked. I just asked once, and they're like, yeah, of course. They gave me a hotline card to help me because um, a lot of landlords need certain proof about dogs and stuff. So or if you need any help with that or if you need help finding housing, they gave me a card with a number on it, which was really sweet. They check in with me all the time like, hey, did you find a place? And like, <laughs> they're like, you got this too. So I'm just finding myself in these supportive connections in a way never before. And I really think it has because I awakened and I'm listening to spirit. And it really, that is all it takes in your life. If you don't take anything from this video, take it, the more and spiritually inclined and in tune with your own body and mind you become, the past just fucking... <laughs> like, I don't even... I talked about the Aries moon. I was like, I need to get an apartment for me and Daisy. Literally the next day, somehow this fucking... I was going to give up found the website, this lady, and I talked, had a, a click, I really think, I'm hoping I get it, and it's on the same street as my job, it will take a dog, it's available in fucking November, which is like the fucking unicorn of apartments, I'm just like, <laughs> spirits, like, psh, psh, yes, we are here, so listen to your intuition, and I don't know what's gonna come out of this if I'm going to get this apartment. I don't know when the car will be ready. I don't know what the night shift is going to be like. I still have curves in the bend. I'm still on a fool's journey. But my message to you is just listen and follow your gut and trust your intuition and ask spirit for help and be appreciative and thankful and do sweet things for the people who have helped. Like I will never fucking forget how my family stepped up. Like I will spend the rest of my life running errands, whatever it is, like, whatever happened in the past, like, we're, it doesn't fucking matter, like, at the end of the day, we all got each other, and <laughs> thank God I have a lot of siblings, and I'm lucky to have both my parents, because a lot of my cousins, like, Lauren and Rob, my cousins, don't have either parents, Jenny and Mel, they don't have a mom, Brandon and Keely don't have either parents, just like I feel guilty so I'm just like all these amazing people in my life I just feel blessed and I'm so thankful and I don't know what is coming around the corner but I feel like it's gonna be good oh it's my sister I'll see you all soon bye